Hello, I'm Kishore Kumar and I welcome you to Kishkat classes. This will, video will give you a comprehensive idea about basic reminder theorem questions of numbers asked in common admission test in the last 25 years. In the previous video, video I've clearly explained you various types of questions asked in common admission test and that particularly from numbers. And also at the end, I informed you that I'm going to teach you and I'm going to upload all the videos related to numbers. If you have gone through that video, you probably might have clearly understood that there are about eight, nine topics which are very important for CAT. However, you just need to focus on four or five areas. One of them is basic reminder theorem and the weightage given to basic reminder theorem is also very very high. Now among all the reminder theorems that we come across in CAT, the most important thing is basic reminder theorem followed by Chinese reminder constant reminder theorem. This video is completely dedicated to basic reminder theorem and then the next four or five videos I'm going to cover the remaining reminder theorems. Let's have a look at the reminder theorems weightages in CAT. I've taken the last 25 years of CAT that is from 1990 to 2014 and if you observe our current topic that is basic reminder theorem you can see that 33 questions and 15 percent weightage that's very very high and for the remaining Chinese reminder theorem or constant reminder theorem the weightage is not much actually very very low when we compare to basic reminder theorem. The name itself suggests basic reminder theorem. It must be very very simple for every single candidate. There are two types of persons of basic reminder theorem which are asked in CAT. The second type is, I am going to explain the two types. The second type is the most important one. Out of the 33 questions asked in basic reminder theorems, almost like 15 to 16 questions were completely given from the second concept that I am going to teach you. Let me start with the first concept. Let's say we have a number and we need to find the reminder of the number. Let's take a number is like A by N. The reminder is quite simple. Finding the reminder is very easy once we know the divisibility rules. But what type of questions are asked in CAT is like let's say let's focus on it. We have a number A, B, A plus B plus C plus D and so on and let's say up to some number like X and this number is divided by N and we need to find the reminder. Look this number is quite simple A plus B plus C and so on up to X. This must be very simple if uh, A, B, C, D are given in arithmetic progression or, or the difference between any two conjunctive terms is easy. But if A, B, C, D are random numbers, then adding each number is really very very difficult. It would be better if we arrange all the numbers in either ascending order or descending order. Then we can solve the question quite easily. Now let's focus on it. Let me take an example. If it's like 37 plus 38 by 12 reminder it's very simple if we can say that it's 75 by 12 and the reminder is 3 that's very easy but in place of 37 and 38 what happens if we are going to get 37 38 13 40 and so on up to 99 so that's from 37 plus 38 up to 99 by 12 nobody can add every single number actually so we do have some other idea like since the given numbers are in arithmetic progression, so the first term plus last term by 2 into the number of terms will give us the sum. So that means 37 plus 99 by 2 into number of terms. That gives us very easy. The number of terms are 63 and then divide by 12 will give us an answer very easily. We need not solve, we need not add every single thing. Instead of it, what we can do is instead of taking 75 12, we 
we can take 37 by 12 remainder plus 38 by 12 remainder since the individual remainders are 1 and 2 so the final is 3 well this is a very simple one we don't get questions on this particular type let me tell you like the next one is going to be a very crucial one and we have we have uh, uh, four or five questions asked on the next concept and that's very easy you can take individual reminders what happens if, if we are focusing on uh, let's say 46 by 12 and 47 by 12 that's 46 by 12 remainder is 10 and 47 is 11 so the sum of that reminders individual reminders is 21 can 21 be the reminder it can't be because the remainder must be lower than the divisor which is 12 so we need to divide it again that's going to be nine. this is skill set one so you just need to know and it's very easy also now let's take what happens instead of plus and what happens if we have 37 into 38 by 12 and we need to find the remainder multiplying 37 into 38 won't take more than 5 6 seconds more than 10 seconds but if, if this is not 37 38 if this is going to be a much bigger number like a three digit or four digit numbers a multiplication of two or three three digit numbers or multiplication of uh, let's say eight nine single digit numbers that itself uh, takes a lot of time so and 37 into 38 is like 14 or 6 divided by 12 the remainder is that's going to be 2 but nobody can really multiply 37 and 38 and then cat never focus on 37 into 38 or 27 into 28 are very simple numbers it must be giving either 3 or 4 4 digit or 3 digit numbers and then how can we solve this one is like this like 37 by 12 remainder into 38 by 12 remainder so 37 by 12 remainder is 1 and then 38 by 12 remainder is 2 so the product of the remainder is 2 well we cannot really write this as 37 by 12 into 38 by 12 in such a case this appears like 37 into 38 by 12 into 12 but do remember this will give you answer quickly this is not absolutely a right this is this is not there in fundamentals of mathematics but we do have an examination where you just need to save a lot of time to score more marks now, this one will give you in such a case what i can tell you is if we have got a plus b plus c and so on divided by n remainder that is equal to a by n remainder plus b by n remainder and so on and also if you have like a into b into c and so on divided by n remainder this is like a by n remainder into b by n remainder into c by n remainder and so on where the sum of the remainders or the product of the remainders must be lower than n if if the sum of the remainders is exceeding n then we need to divide the number again with rec n this is crucial this part is crucial we have a number actually in, in cat i remember that the number is like 1421 into 1423 into 1425 divided by some divisor d and we they have asked us to find the remainder can we really multiply 1421 into 1423 into 1425 no we we can we can do it in the exam but at the end at the end of the question you can check that we have lost a substantial amount of time which is really very crucial this will help you in saving a lot of time yeah. let's focus on the most important part of it let's take instead of a plus b plus c let's take we have got let's say 4 cube plus 5 cube plus 6 cube 7 cube and then 8 cube let's say divided by some divisor some n let's take n equal to 30 
so n divided by 30 and then we need to find the remainder well you can take that 4 cube is 64 and then you go and go ahead and then say that 8 cube is 512 and you can add all the numbers and then divide by 13 but do remember this is a fixed question now nobody can ask you this kind of a very simple question what happens if in cat if they ask us to find 14 cube plus 15 cube and so on up to let's say 18 cube can we really find 14 cube one and 15 cube 16 cube and up to 18 cube can we can we can we calculate them just like that no the moment we are trying to find what is how much is 14 cube how much is 17 cube then you can see that your timer is ticking faster than what we normally think that's how it happens in an examination once we are doing a manual calculations then we are wasting a lot of time the time doesn't run faster actually we will have less time for the remaining questions what can we do this one is like just focus on it can we really solve if, if, if at all like 4 cube then that's okay what happens if it's going to be 4 power 9 what happens if it's going to be 5 power 9 can we really able to find 4 power 9 quickly so instead of it if you focus on it actually so all the numbers 4 5 6 7 8 they're they're given in a proper order that's like their mathematical progression you can say that it's a cube plus b cube c cube plus d cube and e cube divided by some number 30 now we you need you just need to find the relationship between a b c d e and then 30 if we do some some observation so the 30 is nothing but a plus b plus c plus d plus e that must be very simple now so if, if, if you don't remember if you don't know how to solve this one you can take a duplicate question here instead of like this you can take 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 cube divided by 1 plus 2 plus 3 now 4 5 6 7 8 9 uh, whatever the numbers given 4 to 8 they are not unique numbers they are not at all a special numbers there are some just random numbers started from 4 so the next time they can they can ask us 14 cube plus 15 cube plus 16 17 and 18 they can start from any number do not try to solve a question let's say that okay since it is for 4 cube and 5 cube 6 cube what happens if we get different numbers prepare not for a unique question prepare for a pattern based questions now this could be very easy now do remember uh, the numbers are given in a proper order and also the power is every for every number the power is same so that is a cube b cube c cube d cube and e cube now what you really need to do is not just not just try to get the answer for original cat questions what you just you need to understand is you just need to apply what really happens instead of uh, let's say 3 what happens if i'm going to get 4 that is even number instead of a plus a cube plus b cube what happens if it's going to be a cube minus b cube now this is very easy so what you need to do is like take a number a and take two numbers or three numbers it's, it's up to you now, take a number a and b and raise it to power n and there is a plus sign it could be minus and divided by a plus or minus b and then the next thing is n equal to even and n could be odd take some random numbers do not try to take that a and b are two conjunctive numbers or the difference between a and b is even so take some bigger numbers do not try to take that a and b are one or two actually go go ahead with by taking three five eight some two digit numbers single digit numbers which are not one two three actually of course you can take one two three but one cube is nothing but one actually that's why i suggest you not to take a and b are one and two better you take the other single digit numbers now, if if i if i tell you the answers for all these questions let's say that uh, okay uh, a power n minus b power n divided by a minus b and when n is odd 
so the remainder is going to be zero if if i tell you the answer for all these eight different types of uh, expressions it does not mean that you remember every single thing quite easily you just need to do some experiment just do some experiment by taking some values for a and b by taking an even number for n one time and the next time uh, odd number for n and also change the signs i'm going to give you answer for everyone everything but i suggest you to solve on your own and do remember you have got at least at least eight questions asked in the same format in common addition test eight questions on single very easy concept so let's see the outcome so when the expression that is a power n minus b power n or a power n b power n when divided by a minus b and a plus b and when the case uh, when n is even when n is odd the green text indicates that the remainder is always zero and the red text indicates that the remainder need not be zero for all the values do remember it could be zero in some cases but we should have a clearer understanding now it's very easy to remember if you remember that this one this part that is when whenever whenever it is a power n plus b power n whenever the remainder is zero that is for a power n plus b power n now except for that particular case for all the remaining cases of a power n minus b power n the remainder becomes zero so simple thing so just take some variables in place of a and b that is like you can take any numbers other than 1 and 2 and then solve the next video is all about the cat questions of 1990 2014 that is the last 25 years of cat questions of basic remainder theorem you can watch that video but if you would like to solve all the questions before watching the video you can download that worksheet from my facebook page or from the facebook page of kishka classes thank you